everyone. I'm Becky. I'm Sarah. And we're doing Bickering Book Reviews. Today we're talking about Love and Other Great Expectations by Becky Dean, which I got off of Nick Alley. Same. So this book is about Britt Hansen, and she was the star of her high school soccer team. She was all lined up to um, you have a scholarship to UCLA. Everything was set up. Well, she tears her ACL, and then um, she finds out that she has a blood clotting disorder. And um, from there, she's like, they say basically, no sports. Um, and she's kind of lost. And on the last day of school, she gets invited to be part of a scavenger hunt with three of her other classmates in London. And um, she gets, they go to London, they get a riddle and they solve the riddle and then they have to go to another place. Um, on the way, she meets Luke a cute British boy who's kind of, he's not really helping her, but he's just kind of like keeping her company and they spend time together and feelings develop. And that's basically the book. Yeah. Um, no, I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. I thought taking the trip, like, I think that it was inconceivable. Like all of the different, like it's not realistic, the trip and kind of meeting the cute boy and all that. Like, unrealistic but still fun it was fun see i was totally disappointed by this book this book to me should be becky catnip but first of all like honestly i was surprised in the acknowledgements when the author was talking about all the places that that she had visited these places because i had visited these places and i was like i didn't really feel like the setting did it justice and i don't don't agree with that like i think that um i think the setting was I mean, it was surface level, but it was what I expected from a book like this. Like, it didn't... But that's the whole point of the book is where they're going. I mean... I didn't know, in all fairness, I have legitimately been to these places. <laughs> and they're not described well. <laughs> I mean, I haven't been to those places, and they were described well enough for me to get the picture. Yeah, I just, like, I never... I didn't warm up to the characters. I don't know, it just... It just felt like it took forever for anything to happen. And I feel bad because I think this is the author's first book. I just, to me, it felt like it wasn't done. It felt like it needed another polish or something. It was slow in places. See, and I, I thought it was fun. I thought it was fast. Um, I liked the main character, Brit. I, it was the, the romantic lead, Luke, needed definitely more development or, like, a change in who he was because, like, it didn't make sense like how quickly they got together and like (laughs) but like there definitely needed to be more development with Luke but I liked Luke and I liked Brit like and I liked all of that I liked liked the the, the nanny the babysitter Lee I liked Luke more than Brit I never complete and I can't I just honestly like I just don't remember like it wasn't memorable like to me I and I usually love travel books I usually love books in London and it just, it, it didn't, it didn't work for me. I mean, the cover is appealing. I'm sure, I'm sure there are people who will enjoy it. I just. I don't know. I definitely could see myself recommending this book. Like, like it was fluffy and it was fun and it, it moved fast for me. And like I said, I liked the stories that Britt told and I thought she was funny. I thought she was like way overly klutzy. Like it didn't like. See, that was, like, the one thing I was, like, oh, well, that, yeah. She was, like, over-the-top klutzy. Yeah, but, no, like, they were talking, actually, that was one of the few things that I was, like, I could see because the level of klutzy I am, like. So you're over-the-top klutzy? I I don't think it's over-the-top, but, yeah, (laughs) I I routinely fall down. Um, Yeah, I don't really have any much to say about it. Like, I, I just, I just, it just didn't just didn't work for me. It was cute how it was paired with um, the classic literature and all that kind of fun stuff. Yeah, I just... And the different things that they had to do on the scavenger hunt. Like, that was fun. I don't know. I just, I don't know what it was. There was just something, like, and maybe I had high expectations because of what this, what it was described as, but I was just, like, I just could never get into it. It took me, it took me, like, over a week to read this book. That's crazy. Yeah. Like, I never really wanted to keep reading. Wow. 
I enjoyed it. And I, and I feel horrible. I try really hard not to be really negative of first books because it's a first book, but I was just like, mm, we should probably just rate it. I don't really have anything else to say. Um, our rating system starts to start with five unicorns, but under two unicorns, if we don't like it, it's a horse. I'm in three unicorns. Like I enjoyed it. It moved fast for me. I liked the main character. Like I definitely think there could have been more development. Um, but I would, I can see myself recommending this to somebody like it's a fluffy beat, like summer read. And I think that's part of my problem was like, I feel like it was a lot of, you're going to tell me a story instead of showing me. And I think like, and I think that there was a point where like they declared like their like deep feelings. And I'm like, how? So I'm, I wanted to give it a three, but I'm at a two. Like, I just, I can't go above a two. It was just, it was just okay. I probably would, won't keep reading. So that is where we are on love and other great expectations. And we'll see you around. Bye. Bye.